truth is stranger than fiction. And this is the proof. This is Ripley. Believe it or not. <laughs> Five letter blocks contain a total of 30 letters. All the people in the world working day and night for a million years could not arrange these five letter blocks into all possible combinations, believe it or not. In a moment, I'll tell you the uncanny story of a bullet that found its mark. Early in February 1928, A.V. Bonham of Cotter, Arkansas, saw smoke and was startled to learn it was at his own house. With the aid of neighbors, Bonham removed most of his household goods but he overlooked a loaded revolver in his bureau drawer. As he stood watching the flames, a pistol report rang out, and Bonham cried, I'm shot. He staggered a few steps and fell dead. The heat had exploded a cartridge in his gun, and the bullet found its mark. Believe it or not. Truth is stranger than fiction. And this is the proof. This is the Believe it or not. The first 21-gun salute to the American flag was fired in 1776 by Johannes de Graaf, governor of the West Indies. Whereupon he was promptly dismissed for such an unlawful act. Believe it or not. In a moment, I'll tell you about the most unusual home run exhibition ever seen. Do you know the greatest number of home runs ever hit by a professional baseball player in one hour? The man who set the record was Babe Ruth at Wrigley Field, Chicago, in 1927. Babe stood at the plate for an hour while various pitchers tossed him balls to hit over the fence. When the hour was up, the amazed crowd had watched the greatest home run exhibition of all time. The total home runs hit was 125. Believe it or not. <laughs> Truth is stranger than fiction. And this is the truth. This is Ripley. Believe it or not. The obelisk of Corona, Spain is topped off by four clocks, each of which shows a different time. This was done so that couples meeting there will never be late. Believe it or not. In a moment, I'll tell you about a man who witnessed a very unusual incident. Captain Edward Sabine, noted English astronomer, went to Africa on behalf of the Royal Institute. On Cape Lopez in French Equatorial Africa, he witnessed the wreck of a ship and saw the buoyant cargo rise to the surface and drift out of sight. A year later, Sabine was sent to Hammerfest, Norway. There he saw the same barrels wash ashore at the end of a 6,250-mile drift. Believe it or not. <laughs> Truth is stranger than fiction. And this is the proof. This is Ripley's. Believe it or not. The palace of Shazma Shahi in Srinagar, Kashmir, has been air-conditioned for 400 years. It's still cooled by a river that was diverted to run through it in the 16th century. Believe it or not. In a moment, I'll tell you about a man who could not count to one million. Shamil, a Caucasian leader who waged holy war against the Russians for 25 years, once captured the Tsar's uncle in an ambush. He was offered a million rubles in ransom, but he slyly refused it. I will not accept one kopeck less than 5,000 rubles, he announced. Actually, he had no idea how much a million was. Later, Shamil was superseded by another native son, one Yosef Kugashivli, whose conspiratorial name was Stalin. Believe it or not. <laughs> Truth is stranger than fiction. And this is the proof. This is Ripley's. Believe it or not. John Breckenridge, a noted singer and poet of Toll Cross, Scotland, fought anybody who ever sang his compositions in public. And shortly before he died, he cast into the flames all his works, poems, songs, and epigrams. Believe it or not. In a moment, I'll tell you how a hot bath made a man a king. 
After Emperor Constant II was assassinated in his bath in Syracuse, Sicily, his assassins looked for a successor to the throne of Byzantium. Their choice was General Massisi, who flatly refused to ascend the throne. To coerce him, the army commander simply tossed him, fully clothed and armored, into the same hot bath in which Constance had perished. The discomfort of the hot bath helped the reluctant Massisi to change his mind, and he accepted the crown. Believe it or not. <laughs> Truth is stranger than fiction. And this is the proof. This is Ripley's. Believe it or not. The Olympic Theater in Desenza, Italy, built by Andrea Palladio in 1580, is the first theater in history provided with a roof. All previous theaters were of the open-air variety. It's still in use. Believe it or not. In a moment, I'll tell you about the cruelest practical joke on record. One day, while Mohammed II, Sultan of Turkey, was dining, he was called away before the dessert course. When he returned, a large, juicy watermelon was gone. Fourteen of the imperial pages were questioned but denied the theft. The Sultan summoned his surgeon and ordered him to open the stomachs of all the pages. There was no trace of watermelon in any of them. The Emperor made his half-hearted apologies with a nonchalance that is not to be believed. Believe it or not. <laughs> Truth is stranger than fiction. And this is the truth. This is Ripley's. Believe it or not. Herring rained from the sky near Sheen, Argyllshire, Scotland in March 1817. A shower of young herring about three inches long pelted the fields and lasted about an hour. Believe it or not. In a moment, I'll tell you how milking a cow saved a woman's life. In Islington, England, Alice Owen was watching a maid milking a cow and inquired if she might try her hand at milking. As she bent down to the task, an arrow whizzed overhead and passed right through the crown of her hat. Had she been erect, it could not have failed to kill her. In gratitude for her deliverance, in 1613, she built a free school. Owen's school is still in use. It's located on the spot where she so narrowly escaped death. Believe it or not. (laughs) 